We have reached the few final days, hours really, before the winter holiday, and the end of the year is in sight. 2020 has been a year of challenges, and we know that the holidays will be celebrated differently this year. Still, it is my hope that our staff, students, and families will use this time to rest and recharge. I have several important updates to share in our final check-in of 2020, including an update on student achievement, our continued efforts to prevent the spread of COVID-19 in our schools, and the final preparations for Term 3. But as we begin, I want to recognize several students and staff members who were honored during Monday's board meeting. These include a Quail Valley Middle School student for being a Dr. Martin D. Jenkins Scholar Award winner and another Quail Valley student who won the 2020 Congressional App Challenge. The Dulles High School Academic Decathlon team won the Irving California Online Invitational Meet and became the first Texas school to win this event in 20 years. The board also recognized several students for winning second and third place at the Houston Community College Ideas Pitch Competition. In other honors, the FBISD Materials Management Department recently received the Texas Association of School Business Officials Award of Merit. And the James Reese Career and Technical Center was awarded a LEAD recognition, as well as the Texas Association of School Administrators and Texas Association of School Boards Stars of Distinction for School Architecture. Following the recognitions, our staff presented an update on student achievement and had an important conversation with our board about our commitment to providing all students the opportunity to learn and grow. This was a lengthy and necessary discussion because we know that some students are struggling and we are dedicated to meeting their needs in the short term and long term. We recognize the stark reality of this situation so the presentation included a deep dive into the data that shows areas of concern and addressed what we as a district are doing about it. I encourage you to watch the video of the entire presentation online as it includes the voices of several principals who spoke honestly about challenges, their efforts of their campus teams, and celebrations of success. They, like our board, expressed appreciation for the campus and district staff members who have gone above and beyond to serve students. And they also spoke to the needs of our students that go beyond academics, as many have been personally affected by the pandemic. As you may be aware, Sunday afternoon, the Fort Bend ISD administration, with the recommendation of the COVID response team, returned Kempner High School students from face-to-face -face learning to online and asynchronous learning for this week to close out Term 2. As part of the COVID-19 contact tracing and investigation process, data is collected to inform decision-making and assess the impact to the campus before considering any decision to move all students to online learning. Many in the community have asked why we did not shift the entire school district to online learning and why Kempner High School shifted to online learning when other schools have had higher numbers of positive cases and remain open for face-to-face -face instruction. Currently, Kempner High School has recorded several positive cases of COVID among staff and per our health and safety protocols, these staff members were immediately isolated at home for at least 10 days Upon thorough investigation, there has been no evidence to confirm spread within the campus instructional environment. However, it has been determined that these positive cases are a cluster of related cases based on social interactions and activities outside the school instructional environment. Quick action to shift to online learning was taken in order to continue instruction with little to no interruption because attempting to maintain our dual learning system at Kempner under the circumstances would have created insufficient staff support for our students. FBISD continues contact tracing efforts to determine if more students or staff have been exposed and may require quarantine to mitigate risk. In accordance with Centers for Disease Control and Texas Education Agency guidelines, the district takes immediate action when we learn of a positive case. This includes contacting the Fort Bend ISD Custodial Services team to initiate enhanced cleaning services and disinfection of areas within the school building. 
During the winter break, Fort Bend ISD will continue to contact trace and monitor the number of positive cases. The district's contact tracing team will work every day with the exception of Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and New Year's Day. And it is important that staff and students continue to report any symptoms, exposures, and positive cases into the daily wellness screener. We will work throughout the winter break to closely monitor all actions by the Centers for Disease Control, local government and health agencies, and we will continue to carefully and methodically assess our district in accordance to the FBISD COVID-19 response plan. On December 29th, I will meet with our district leaders and principals to provide an update on the plans for our return for Term 3 in January. Any important, timely information will be shared with our staff and the FBISD community via email and the district website. Preparations for Term 3 are ongoing as work continues to finalize student schedules. Elementary students will receive their T3 schedules this week, while secondary student schedules will be available by January 6th. All questions about student schedules should be directed to the student's counselor or administrator. Families that requested to change the learning model for their students after the request deadline for Term 3 will be notified by their respective campus during the first two weeks of January to provide an update on the request. Also, if we determine it is necessary to move all students to remote, online learning, we have developed a solid academic plan for a flexible transition that accommodates individual students, classes, campuses, or the entire district which is available to view online in the comprehensive back-to-school plan. Additionally, we have established processes for students and staff to pick up instructional materials from their campus in case a shift to remote operations must be implemented. Whether in face-to-face -face or remote online learning, Fort Bend ISD is dedicated to the success of every student, and we're committed to providing high-quality instruction in each learning modality. Before I go, I want to remind you that this is a season of giving. I encourage you to take some time to rest and recharge during the break, but also find a way to show compassion by giving back to your community and demonstrating kindness to yourself and others. This has been a difficult year, and the truth is, we know that there are still more challenges ahead of us in 2021. Still. As we wrap up the year, I encourage you to reflect on the resilience of the human spirit and what you have done, big or small, to do and be your best in the midst of such adversity. Our district's mission has continued because of the hard work and dedication of our staff, along with strong support from our community. And for that, I am thankful as we wrap up 2020. I wish you a safe and healthy break and I'll see you in the new year.